Divyata Rajaram and I've lived in Dubai for over 20 years now, so Dubai is home. And I'm an author of crime fiction as well as trying to expand that genre. And I'm also a banker by profession and a marketing uh, professional. I think interestingly, I could not ignore the creative, you know, sort of calling that, you know, I felt there was a gap in my life where I really, there was a story that was begging to be told. And I wanted to find some way to sort of combine my, you know, my passions and, you know, find time for the, for the skills that I was looking to build. And that's when I decided to take a break for a while, although I have got back into full-time working now, and find time for writing. Because I think it's so important to pursue your passion. So um, I have two books, If You Only Knew Me, which was published in 2017, and Somewhere in the Shadows, which was published in 2019, just pre-pandemic. Um, both books are interestingly set in a very modern, contemporary UAE setting. So most of my readers find themselves thrown into this wonderful, exciting world with a lot of locales that are very familiar to them and beautiful places just like this. And I think that's what truly sets the uh, novels aside, apart from the fact that, of course, they're both very riveting um, stories with um, a, a lot of very acute characterization. And um, I've been very thankful to have this journey in Dubai and been greatly supported. So I like to think of them as homegrown bestsellers. I think there's nothing more stifling uh, for a person uh, than to not be able to get out of the confines of, you know, obviously in the pandemic and the lockdown did that to us. And I was truly grateful that I had already decided to pursue creativity and pursue other passions rather than just the day job, because it rescues you in so many ways and it um, helps you escape monotony. So I think I was reading, um, particularly, I read, um, you know, um, Ikigai, of course, uh, Finding Your Ikigai. And um, I've also read a lot of fantastic um, crime fiction, which is, you know, a genre that I love to, to develop new subplots in my own head. Um, and then I'm writing book number three, which I started during the pandemic. So very excited about that. It's a collection of short stories. You know, I think book clubs have always been so important. I think what's happening today and by events like these is that we are coming together now as a community to embrace reading. And this is so important because at a time like this, I find so many people, as, as we were saying earlier, are just, you know, you're confined to your own worldview. You're confined to your own perspective. You're feeling trapped. You're lacking inspiration. And this is the time when, you know, through the world of books, through meeting other people who love to read, through sharing thoughts, ideas, we can truly collaborate. And, you know, I always believe mind over body. Why should a shopping mall be just a space for people to come there and either to eat or for retail? Or, you know, it's also a place for us to come together and celebrate the love of reading. And I think that's exactly what the Festival Plaza has managed to successfully do. As an author recommendation, I would uh, recommend a slightly heavy but an emotional um, piece called uh, Palace Walk by the uh, Egyptian author Naguib Mahfouz, um, which again, I'm not, you know, no spoiler alerts here, but um, takes you to a completely different world uh, with the setting of Egypt. And uh, it's wonderful and evocative, and I don't want to say more. But I think at the state of mind people are in right now, Palace Walk would be a good recommendation for you to really immerse yourself in the love of literature. <laughs>